Stampers and welcome to Laura's Stamp Pad. Today I am showcasing the new Paisley's and Posies stamp set which is in the holiday mini catalog. It starts on September 1st and runs um, through the end of the year so there's lots of great goodies in there to prepare you for the holidays and just some fun fabulous new looks like this amazing Paisley's, Paisley's and Posies. So here is the stamp set. So you can see the stamp set has a couple greetings to it which are super fun and fabulous. There's thankful, grateful, blessed, and then my world is brighter and more beautiful because of you. And I thank you for your part in my journey, which is super fabulous, um, you know, for graduation or, you know, just anything. There's so many times that you just want that perfect card to send to somebody that says a little bit more than maybe just thank you because you want to be a little bit more specific, but you just can't put it into words. So I love, love, love those greetings. And then, of course, there's all of these Paisley images. The, so you can actually like build them and put them together or you can use them individually or you can just have lots and lots of fun with it. There is also a coordinating framelit set to go with it. So a lot of them can actually be die cut out um, and that is the Paisley's framelit dies. And so I'm gonna show you a couple samples at the end that use um, some of the dies as well as the stamp set. And of course you can bundle and save 10% whenever you purchase the two um, together. So be sure to do that if you really want both of them because then who doesn't want a fabulous deal? Here, this card I did, and I used uh, Calypso Coral and Knight of Navy, and I just created that beautiful background by stamping just random images from the stamp set. So we're just gonna set this aside, and we're gonna bring in a piece of very vanilla cardstock, and here I have this measuring four inches by five and a quarter, and then I have my Knight of Navy and my Calypso Coral, and then I just picked various images. Some of them are the same as, um, as the other one that I did and some of them are, um, are different. So here I'm first going to use that big Paisley image. Um, that big, I don't, I don't know what else to call it besides Paisley. Um, and I'm gonna stamp a few of these because I really want to stamp my big images first and then I want to fill in with the little ones and just rotate it around and make sure that your images fall off of your cardstock because when they fall off it makes the um, the background look like it continues on and it's not just you know on your card um, that the pattern actually continues over and over and over again. And I actually, I feel like I just want one more of just the little tail. So just the little edge right there. Perfect. So now I think I'm probably done with that one. So now I'm gonna move to another big image. And I love this flower. I think this flower is just stunning. And I'm gonna do that one in Calypso Coral. And so I'm just going to place it pretty close to the other images, but also, you know, out in the middle and off to the side and just, you know, filling in around my background. And then this one I'm gonna kinda like snug right next to that. And then we'll do just a few of pieces of it. And I might come back, oh wait, I think I want just a little tail or uh, leaf, I guess, or you know, stem, I guess is what the real word is, but I call it a tail. And then, let's see, we'll go back. I really want this one, but I think because um, this image is so big, I'm gonna go with Calypso Coral with this image as well. And I'm just gonna add a few of these. And then I also have this circular um, image. So it almost looks like a sun. Here I actually probably can show you there. Now it looks a little bit better. And again, you wanna go kinda close to some of your other images. You can always do a pattern that is um, super far apart or you could always stop early and only use a few of the images or you can keep going and really fill in. I think this one's gonna overlap. It is. Hmm. Maybe I didn't do so well on getting my big images in quickly. So I'm just going to do a few little snippet pieces on the edges um, to fill that in. And then it looks like we need to move to our little images. So here's another circular image. And I'm just going to fill in where I can 
which isn't very many places. Nope, that one overlaps. Okay, I think we're done with that one. So now I feel like I need a little bit more navy. So there's a little um, like six petal flower and then there's also a little like dotted circular image. And so these you can really like put in with other images and you know kind of sneak them in in a lot of different places. And then let's do the other one in coral. Almost put that one in the wrong ink pad. Caught myself at the last minute. It happens. And I've done a video on how to fix that, so um, I can always leave a link down below for that, or you can always search through um, my channel in the beginner's um, channel. Then there's um, in, some info about how to clean up that ink pad. So there we have that fabulous background. Isn't that super fun? Like I said, you could always do um, three colors. You could always do just one color and do it all the same. You could do more than three colors, stick with two. Um, and then you can use so many of the different images. I'm going to show you a few images that I did not use and um, ones that I didn't use is this dotted image here which this image actually fits inside the dotted image. Um, so I didn't use those. I didn't use any of the leaves or greenery pieces either but I did use um, all of the others. So lots of fun, lots of great images to create a beautiful background. Let's bring back in that original. So there we have our original sample, and then I just added um, one of the greetings on a little tag there, and then did a strip of that as a banner, and then of the navy, and then I used some of the new burlap ribbon to do that. So super, super fun. Now I just want to show you a few other samples that I did using um, some of the same images in the Petals and Paisley's suite, because there's also some fabulous designer series paper. So here is this amazing card. And then here's some of the designer series paper, some new fabulous ribbon. And then I just did the greeting at the top and two of the leaves. And then I love, love, love this one. Look at that copper foil. Yum, yum, yummy it is so gorgeous. So I used the die cuts on this one and did um, the little images on the bottom and then just did happy anniversary at the top. And then here's another one showcasing that beautiful designer series paper. So I would used the designer series paper, some of the ribbon, and then I did the greeting on there with a little greenery on the top and bottom of that. So lots of great ways to use the Paisleys and Petals uh, suite in the holiday mini catalog. Of course, I'll be posting all of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check that out there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're you're new and I will see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye bye.